Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and are you trying to find more loot in Dying Light 2? Of course you are, because you always want more, you greedy, greedy person, you. <laughs> well, here I am to help you find more loot, with a wonderfully simple tip that might be obvious, but wasn't particularly standing out to me, and it's using the binoculars. If you grab the binoculars, which is B on PC, you'll see a little square appears, and that square, you can make it shrink by aiming it in a certain direction you'll find there's a sweet spot where the actual thing is that you're looking for where the square will shrink and you'll hear a little noise as the square shrinks down and that will identify things of interest in the distance now obviously you can see all the things that you've already found by running past them but if you're in an area and you want to see what's worth going for in that specific area then you can do it with these binoculars now this is quite similar to Assassin's Creed where you had the little bird that would fly overhead and then you could zoom in with the special vision to get a view of the things in the area there and find loot or well, you can do the same here in Dying Light 2 you can see it shrinking down there and then it lets me know that there's a military airdrop on top of this building as well as a little safe house area as well so these are obviously areas of loot and areas that you can go to to activate a hideout that will then give you UV protection from the zombies at night which is obviously beneficial when you're doing a night run and you're trying to escape from them well, you can see how simple it is but I did find that you have to move your cursor ever so delicately because you'll see there's a number of times where they appear and then you have to keep sort of moving the cursor around in that specific location ever so slowly and carefully, especially at a long distance to pinpoint exactly where it is. But what you'll notice is a little audible cue, a little sound will pick up just at the right point and then you just move it ever slightly more slowly just there and it'll shrink down and it'll reveal that location and then obviously you can just go there and loot it those drops the airdrops and the military hardware drops are obviously really worth getting and worth going after this has been the provoke prawn hope you found this video useful thanks for watching be sure to check out the playlist in the description with more tips and tricks videos and fun times and dying light too